and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, we've got food. Yay. Start this off right now. I said, Dobre vece, everyone. Oh, oh, he's like got the glasses. And and Nas is now. And thank you. And welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. And thank you, Baki, and everything. Oh, and I've got the great food. And just so that you all know, the food is phenomenal here. And of course, I got it just in time for for watching the great poets tonight. I'm so excited. He's like, oh, are you picking up my food? Not fair. Just the onions. Oh. <laughs> Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. We've got a great, I'm so looking forward to seeing Nicole A. M. Collins. Come out, go on. Oh, yeah. And the reason why I was making my little tooting noise out of my little bag earlier is because she's got to worry about having money for everyone in the family and this happy bag is going to help put their first child through college because we all have so much money. No, this is a good, the collection bag because this woman is worth it passing around to give money for our feature for this evening and you'll take money from me or something, you'll start it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Turns that around. I'm going to start with a poem before I go to the open micers, before our great feature this evening. Um, I have a book called Chapter 38. This was originally released as an ISSN number book, and it just got an ISBN number and is released in places like Amazon.com and such. So, since it's a huge volume one, I thought I'd pull something from it. Now, it's called Chapter 38 because it was based on a chapbook that was called Chapter 18, and if I open this up, you can see it says Chapter 18 instead of 38 on it. And so, the, and that was actually from a chapbook. So I'm going to pull something from this very, very early chapbook that happens to be in here and read a poem for you, and this is called Sobering. I must admit that there's a definite proportion to how good you look and how much alcohol I've consumed. Yes, you are important to me, too important, and I think that scares me because the only person I can count on is myself, and, and I don't want to frighten you with my coldness, but I've been hurt too many times before, and I'm sure as hell not gonna, going to do everything to try to stop it from happening again. I've had to realize that you can't be my crutch. Yes, I do care about you too much. It is unhealthy for when we go our separate ways, and I know we will. It will kill me. I know that you love me, and I know that you want to protect me, but I have to know that there are other people who can care for me as well. I am not an animal in a cage, and I have a life to lead. I, I know I'm being cold, but it's what I have to do. Call it a defense mechanism. Call it sobering up. Thank you.